Will US-China tensions lead to a doomsday scenario? According to former US Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, if a conflict ever erupts between the two powers, it could lead to colossal dangers. Legendary diplomat Henry Kissinger has labelled China the biggest problem for America and the world. For the first time in human history, uh, humanity has capacity to extinguish itself in a finite period of time. In a recent interview, Kissinger said that while nuclear weapons during the Cold War had the capacity to inflict vast damage, advances in nuclear technology and artificial intelligence, where China and the US are both leaders, have multiplied the doomsday threat. To clarify, he's not referring to a doomsday machine as such. Cloud Thorium G has a radioactive half life of 93 years. If you take, say, 50 H-bombs in the 100 megaton range and jacket them with cabal thorium G, when they are exploded, they will produce a doomsday shroud. What he's actually referring to is this. Escalating tensions between the US and China have stoked the narrative of an all-out artificial intelligence arms race between the two countries. The United States have identified artificial intelligence as one of the key technologies that will ensure the United States will be able to fight and win the wars of the future. Even if your robots are defeated, the next stage is that their robots will start killing your people. Given his history, Kissinger may be one of the most credible voices when it comes to US-China relations. He served as Secretary of State to President Richard Nixon and President Gerald Ford, between 1973 and 1977. Kissinger was also the architect of establishing relations between the US and China as part of an effort to isolate the USSR. Dr. Henry Kissinger sits in on the talks that are animated, constructive, and frank. At the summit, face to face, two leaders who direct the destiny of one out of three persons on the earth. The gate to friendly contact, says Joe and Lai, has finally been opened. However, Kissinger has also been accused of atrocities committed during the Vietnam War and his support for right-wing dictatorships in South America during the 1970s. I think he's a war criminal. I think he's a liar. A savage, brutal blow against North Vietnam. These were his he words. he was capable of anything. Yes, Kissinger ought to be the subject of an international tribunal, of a legal process in the United States and elsewhere. I gotta tell you, the dark side of Henry Kissinger is very, very dark. For Kissinger, the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union was one-dimensional, focused mostly on nuclear weapons and the doctrine of mutually assured destruction. The Soviet Union couldn't match the US economically. They only had a military technological capacity. But China is a different story. The world's most populous country has shown that its economic might and technological capabilities could be as threatening as its military force. The country's economy opened up to the rest of the world, a move that ultimately turned China into a global economic powerhouse. Astonishing economic growth over the decades has provided resources needed to boost military research and development. These changes are part of China's military being on the path to becoming a more powerful force. Kissinger said US policy towards China must take a two-part approach, standing firm on US principles, to demand China's respect while maintaining constant dialogue and finding areas of cooperation. Under President Donald Trump, relations with China worsened, which included a trade war that cost hundreds of billions of dollars. And President Joe Biden has maintained that hawkish stance towards China. China has an overall goal, and I don't criticize him for the goal, but they have an overall goal to become the leading country in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch. 
Recently, the US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin also warned that the way we fight the next major war is going to look very different from the way we fought the last ones. And that could be a sign that Kissinger's stark warning may have some truth even now. Over the last several years, analysts have already been predicting the world is entering a new Cold War. It's USA versus China, a new Cold War? If this new type of Cold War escalates, it could impact the cost of our goods. I think we're in a new Cold War, or we're sliding towards it. Kissinger's direct role in opening up China, which led to its dramatic rise, has given him an insight to possess. During his negotiations for Nixon's visit to China, Kissinger quoted Premier Zhou Enlai, saying, this will shake the world. But now it seems if US-China relations go off course, it could help destroy it.